welcome to our video tour of number 49 Marchmond Road in Edinburgh. We are going to start off outside the property so that you can get an idea of the front garden. A little overgrown at the moment, but still a beautiful space uh, to enter the property. This is a three bedroom property. It has an HMO license with gas central heating. As you'll see, we've got nice mosaic tiles and a solid wooden door at the entrance. And we're just going to go into the entrance hallway. So it's quite a long entrance hallway with solid wood floors and as we proceed down the hallway the first bedroom to the left uh, is the master bedroom as you will see it's a very big bedroom with carpeted floors a nice big double bed it's got an old traditional fireplace which is no longer working but it's still a nice feature the property has a desk and chair there you see the fireplace, desk and chair, coffee table, shelves, mirror. It's got a sofa, nice big bay windows with traditional shutters, which we'll show you in a moment. But as we pan around, we just want you to get an idea of the size of the room. So on the far side, you've got triple wardrobe, as well as a chest of drawers. We'll just pan around again. It's a really good size bedroom, this. And as you can see, it has the traditional shutters just to keep all the light out uh, during the summer months and the evenings. So we'll just show you quickly how these shutters work. Uh, the shutters slide over or they, they fold over and they, they form quite an effective way of keeping out the sunlight. We're not going to close both the shutters because it'll be difficult for the video. But just to give you an idea, that's what the shutters look like when they close. The other side will obviously close uh, to block out the balance of the light. Just going to pan around one last time, give you a good idea of the size of the bedroom. As you can see, there's gas central heating in the property with radiators in each of the rooms. But from here, we're going to go back out into the hallway. So back into the hallway, and again, first door on the left-hand side after the bedroom is a storage room or box room. The box room is floored, so it's got the carpeted flooring. It's currently empty other than the fact that it also has a wardrobe in the room. This would be a great room for storage. Perfect for things like suitcases and other odds and ends. From here, as you pan around, we're going to go back into the hallway. And you'll see there's a small additional freezer as well as a dressing table but as we walk down the hallway again to the left we're going to go into the living room dining area so there's a dining table that seats up to four people and as we pan around you'll get an idea of the size of the room again it has a two-seater sofa a three-seater sofa coffee table chair as well as a TV stand unit. This room also has the traditional shutters allowing for darkness in the summer months which are so bright. As we pan around you'll get a good idea of the size of the room. There's also a bookshelf for packing of books or odds and ends. At the end of the room there's also another storage cupboard and the fridge freezer is housed in here but there are also a number of shelves for packing of food and odds and ends. We're just going to pan around again and then walk to the far side of the room uh, so that we can go into the kitchen. So it's a long galley kitchen with a washing machine, as you'll see, microwave, electric oven, gas hob, kettle, toaster, washing up area, plenty of worktop space, and storage cupboards. The boiler is also housed in the kitchen. Just to the right hand side is another door and this leads out into the private back garden or yard area. This could be quite nice in summer months for entertaining or just relaxing. So you'll see there's quite a nice space here. There's even a small barbecue or it would be great to have barbecues out here. Uh, having sundowners late afternoon 
as you can see it's nice and bright. From here we're going to go back into the house to conclude our tour. Back into the kitchen, from the kitchen back into the living room. And so we'll go back into the hallway. Just to pan around again, give you a last glimpse of the living room. Then again, the door to the left is our bathroom. So the bathroom has a hand basin, toilet, bath, and shower over the bath. Nice big mirror in the bathroom as well, tiled walls. Uh, it has a Myra shower unit over the bath, so you can bath and shower here. Nice bright window. We'll just pan around so that you can get a good idea. It also has a storage cupboard, which can be used for towels and other toiletries or odds and ends. Back out into the hallway, and then again to the left is the second of the bedrooms. This again is a nice big double bedroom. It has a nice big double bed, carpeted floors, all neutrally decorated in magnolia and white. It has a desk and chair, nice big window, again with the traditional shutters, a fireplace which has been blocked off, as well as wardrobe space for hanging and packing of clothes. From here we're going to go back out into the hallway once again, back down the passageway towards the entrance, but before we do on the left hand side there's a, an additional storage cupboard, so this property has plenty of storage. Okay, to the left hand side again is the third of the three bedrooms. This is the smallest of the three bedrooms and faces the front of the property. It has a fireplace, old traditional fireplace also blocked off triple wardrobe, desk and chair. This property would probably be ideal for students, the double bed and chair on the far side of the room. As you can see the property gets plenty of natural light, it's a really good property for three friends to share. We're going to go back out into the hallway in a moment and back to the front of the property. If you're interested in this property, please contact us at Pure Property Management. Go onto our website www.purepropertymanagement.com and click on the Contact Us button for more information. Thank you.